Moise Mandel, he returned to his hometown of Nitschewin in 1944. He was deported to Auschwitz, where we are now. He survived the war, and he became a, a mashkiach, a spiritual dean of the Mount uh, Kisko Yeshiva in, in, in America. And uh, before he came here, he was in Theresienstadt. And he tells the story of Rosh Hashanah and Theresienstadt, 1943. The Jews are risking their lives together to pray. And it's not hard to imagine the outpouring of emotion that these Jews had. Now that they're in the shadow of death, just days earlier, year, months earlier, spending family time, holiday time with all their families and their siblings. And they davened Mariv, Rosh Hashanah night. And when they finished, one of the group turned to the Rav and said, What about Kiddush? Kiddush? It's like asking, you know, to fly to the moon. You're going to find wine in a camp. So Rav Yonah first said, <coughs> We're going to make a Kiddush Shem Shemaim. A sanctification of God's name, the like that none has ever seen in the history of the Jewish people. And we're going to make Kiddush in a commodity that is free and so readily available in these camps. And a cup was passed around and within minutes, that cup was overflowing with the hot tears of the inmates. And they made Kiddush on those tears. And they declared, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim, that God is the one that selected us over all the other nations. And I was a famous Reb Ruzhev Reb always used to say he'd rather be the hunted than the hunter. And we've taken this journey together, three days together. And we know who we are. I learned this from Sri, this is what I'm about to say to you now, this is not mine. He asked me to finish up. All around you are diamonds. Little diamonds on the floor, these stones from Auschwitz. From the very first moment that Sfi said this to me, I carried one in my pocket, I have it with me at all times. And it's a stone of perspection. You think you have problems in life, you think you have stress, you think you have issues. You take out the stone and you hold the stone and you remember where the stone is from. And your problems melt away and it focuses you. We leave the gates of Auschwitz changed people. But we only change people if we start to make that commitment, as we talked about before. To do something in memory of the six million. To improve the world. To become better people. To become a better father, a better mother, a better spouse, a better friend, a better Jew. And that is the greatest message. And the greatest zikhut and merit that we can give to the people and the neshamot of the six million that are buried throughout this country. As we said that we're carrying on these words, we declare Satem Shalom. But we carry on their job and we carry on their mission to live a life of Kiddush Hashem. I'm 